Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A few days ago I did a video talking about the new features found in the latest version of Luminar Neo, that's version 1.6.2. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. One of those new features is something they call Face Enhancer AI. Face Enhancer AI is something that they added to two different Luminar Neo extensions. One of those extensions is called Super Sharp AI, and the other one is Upscale AI. Now I confess, uh, I updated my Luminar Neo, and I just kind of figured out what that new feature was and how to use it, and then I did a video on it. I really didn't extensively test it. Well, this morning I received an email from someone named Eric Daniels, and Eric Daniels told me that this Face Enhancer AI isn't doing what we think it should be doing. It's doing something else. And he went on to explain it to me in great detail, and I really do appreciate him doing that. Well, I want to do this video and kind of show you what he's talking about so that you, you know what's going on as well, because you really should know. Um, what I did was I downloaded this stock image, and this is the same stock image that Eric Daniels used to show me what it's doing. You could download this for free as well. It's available on unsplash.com. I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. So I downloaded the stock image and then what I did was I reduced it in size. You could see over here in the top right hand corner, it's 480 by 600. So because it's so small, it's something that you may want to upscale. So that's what we're going to do. So what we'll do is you can see Upscale UI or Upscale AI. This is the extension. It's over here on the right hand side of the catalog module of Luminar Neo. To upscale this, just drag it over there. Then go to this little gear and make sure that Face Enhancer AI is checked. All right. So make sure that's checked. Let's upscale it something modest, 4x, and we'll click upscale. Let it do its thing, and then you'll see it's done. And what it will do is it puts it in this folder called Upscale. And we'll take a quick look. And at first glance, it may look to be OK. But let's do this. Let's put it in the album that I have the original non-upscaled version of the image in. Let's go to that. This is the original image. This is the one that's 480 by 600. Now, let me show you the upscaled image. There's the original image. There's the upscale image. So what Faints Face Enhancer AI did is it didn't enhance or fix the original eyes and nose and lips of the model. It replaced them. It totally replaced them. You can see her eyes are totally different. Her nose is different. Her lips are different. Her cheeks are different. I think her eyebrows might be slightly different. So that is something that I think you should know um, because if you're doing this on, let's say, people you don't know very well, maybe you're just an event photographer or you photograph some type of um, you know, thing for a family or something like that, and you sent these images through Upscale, or you used the other extension, Super Sharp AI, which does the same thing, you may not readily notice that it's actually swapping out the nose for a different nose. It's swapping out the eyes for different eyes. Now, whether or not it's actually just using like an AI generated, like, feature like an AI generated eye, AI generated nose, or if it has a database of different noses that it just swaps out. Um, I don't know. I think it's probably the former, but either way, um, it's something that I wasn't aware of. And I thank Eric Daniels for making me aware of it because I think um, it's something I'm probably not going to use because I don't like doing stuff like that. I like making sure that the people I'm editing still look like themselves. I just want to make them look like they had the best night's rest they ever had in their life. And if they wear makeup, that they had the makeup professionally applied. 
if they don't wear makeup, that they just are, you know, very healthy that day when they happen to get their photo taken. They drink a lot of water. That's what my post-processing goals are when I'm editing a portrait. This isn't something that I would ever do. So everyone's different, and I'm not condemning anyone that would do that. I just think you should be aware of it, though. So again, uh, this is in upscale AI, AI, and it will do the same exact thing in super sharp AI if you have face enhancer AI turned on. So just be aware of that. So again, thank you, Eric Daniels, for filling me in on this. And, uh, you know, your thoughts, let us know in the comments below. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.